The Reese Report with Al and Laura Reese. War in the Boardroom. It's the title of this report and also the title of our brand new book by the same name, War in the Boardroom. We're going to be using our reports to go through the various chapters and give you an inside peek in into the new book. We're going to start with the preface, Your Divided Brain. There's a war going on in corporate America. You've been in the meetings. You know what the battles are like. They are ugly. Which side are you on? The left side or the right side? The management side or the marketing side? Management versus marketing. They're at war, people. Why? Because they don't think alike. They don't think alike because their brains are different. Management people are usually left-brainers. They're verbal, logical, and analytical. Marketing people tend to be right-brainers. They're visual, intuitive, and holistic. It makes sense. There's lots of differences people have. Some people are left-handed. Some are right-handed. Some see better with their left eye, their left-eyed, or their right-eyed. Or your left-eared or right-eared. Left-footed or right-footed. Even lobsters have differences. Some are left-clawed, some are right-clawed. So there's left-brainers and there's right-brainers. And there's lots of differences. Each side, in fact, works differently. The left side takes in information in series, one at a time. That allows people to zero in on the details and why left-brainers are very detail-oriented. The right side takes in information in parallel, all at once, allowing right-brainers to see the big picture, to see the forest through the trees. And there's many differences. For instance, there's verbal versus, versus visual thinking. Take a CEO. When they give a speech, like Anne Mulcahy here of Xerox, there's no visuals. They're all about the verbal. They're talking. It's just them in front of a podium. Compare that to a, when a right-brainer gives a speech. When Steve Jobs gives a speech, there's a huge, giant screen behind him with big, powerful visuals. There's analytic versus holistic thinking. Just look at the meltdown on Wall Street. Part of the problem is it was being run by analytic thinkers and computers who weren't very good at seeing the big picture. Because a right-brainer takes a look at that and says, why are they lending money to people who can't afford to pay it back? That doesn't make sense. There's certainty versus uncertainty. Left-brain management is very certain about the future. They always think they know what's going to happen when a certain concept is launched, like they think new Coke's going to be a great success. <laughs> yeah, right. Versus uncertainty. Right brain marketing is never quite sure, so it's willing to take a chance on a new concept. It rolls things out slowly and it changes things as it goes along. Take the launch of Red Bull, for instance. It was launched by an entrepreneur, Dietrich Meschitz, in Austria. He did some research before launching Red Bull, as many companies do, and what he found in that consumer research is that people didn't believe the taste, the logo, or the brand name. I've never before experienced such a disaster, he said. But you know what? He did it anyway. <laughs> Most big companies would never have launched a product like Red Bull. But entrepreneurs with a strong grasp of marketing and right brain thinking are willing to take a chance. And that's why managers and entrepreneurs are very different. Managers tend to be left-brainers, like Rick Wagner at GM, versus entrepreneurs willing to take a chance and believing in marketing, like Dietrich Meschitz. So what are you? I'm sure you're thinking about it now. Are you a left-brainer? Are you a right-brainer? Well, if you're not sure, then you can find out here. Our website has a quick quiz that you can take to see if you're a right brain or a left brainer. Visit leftrightbrainquiz.com or just visit reese.com and you'll find the link there. I'm Laura Reese and this has been the Reese Report.